Rescue data and repair. My name is Dr. Ben. Happy welcome. Welcome. It hurt. Tum, tum, tum. Tum, tum, tum. <laughs> iPhone 8, no charge. Let's go. We added the jumper wire here. And now what we do is just rebuilding the pad. So you did everything wrong, what you can do wrong. Yeah. Somebody tried to repair the screen or to change the screen on this iPhone and tried to replace the battery. I don't know, whatever, but yeah, he tried to replace battery. You can see that's always <laughs> pretty, pretty um, funny. So people try to change the battery and don't even know how to use the, the clue under the battery in the right way. So clue it over the Taptic engine. Yeah, what should I say now? People, stop repairing your phones by yourself. Send the phones to us. We do it in the right way, no problem. But stop this shit here. Okay. Let's have a look. Without seeing that, I say you that the, the, the guy who tried this just ripped off the MOSFET um, from the board and that's the issue. In my opinion now, perhaps he did some more shit, but we will see. And the screen uh, was replaced too, do you see that? It's shit quality. So I, I, I just don't understand. Pay some more money for a professional repair and you don't have issues after. Now you pay three times more than you paid for your parts even. So it doesn't make any sense. So in the end you paid more than, than now. Okay, so you paid more for, for the parts. Ugh. Calm down, Dr. Man. Yeah, calm down. Okay, you see here MOSFET ripped, so we have to we have to jump her. Hello. Hey, Stu. So yeah. this is my son, Frido. So my son can play and I can work. Not a problem. So Tim, what we see here is pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. So we have a rip pad here. Do you see that? Yeah. So I showed to you in ZXW. So we go to the iPhone 8. And I show that to you. So people try to replace a battery. On replacing the battery, they take their finger to just remove the FPC. Then they rip off MOSFETs. So this MOSFET has three pins. One pin goes directly to the battery connector. If we rip off the MOSFET, we can't charge the phone. It will reboot every 180 seconds. Or not, Tim. Yeah. I need jumper wire. Sorry, I didn't know that before. Let's go. So we need to set a jumper. We need to set a jumper. We just cut a little tiny piece of jumper wire. We take it. And we do it like that. Okay. So we added the jumper wire here and now what we do is just rebuilding the pad. Or just instead of the pad, we just get a little jumper wire, okay? To here. So like that. You always need a sharp plate. In this case, my plate isn't sh as sharp as before. So then we need to take a little bit of alcohol and alcohol is a solution for everything like you see. Okay. After that we just cover that pad with a little tiny piece of UV glue. Then we need to use a little bit of 
light, UV light. And we set the jumper like this. Okay? So, looks good. Now, what we do now is just taking a new MOSFET. Here we have the new one. Here. Can you see that, Tim? So, and we just add a little tiny piece of solder to the MOSFET at this one point because we don't have a pad with solder, okay? So, and if we don't have a pad with solder, we just need to add some solder to the MOSFET. Like this, okay? After that, checking that the jumper comes to here in the right way. And then we let, oh, hey, come on. Then we let the MOSFET down like that, okay? It needs to connect. It needs to connect to the jumper. Okay, hopefully connected in the right way. Tim, I need my multimeter from my table. So, we need to take a multimeter. Don't do anything. Nix machen, Dr. Fredo, ne? And we just measure the pin here. And what we see? We see 660 millivolts and that's pretty okay. So our jumper is connected and everything is fine, okay? So. Now we should we should charge again in the right way. That should work. So we reconnect the FPCs and that was all Tim. That was all. Quick fix. Quick fix and I think this is not a fix which we need because if people don't try that shit by themselves by themselves at home we don't have issues like that. Okay. We have Less work for this, okay? But if you would give us this work before, you would save money and save time and everything would be fine and rhyme again, okay? Whoa. Whoa. Triple rhyme uh, uh, chain like, um, like Tupac. Almost like Tupac, okay. And do you see that, Tim? Come here. He changed the lightning too because he thought the device isn't charging anymore at all. So I changed the lightning on top. Okay. You and idiot. he used a, it's not original and he didn't sit it up in the right way. So I will take out the board and move the lightning to the right position so it can connect in the right way again. Okay. So you did everything wrong, what you can do wrong. So, and now we just need to see if this device my back, wants to charge again. Even with this bad lightning, let us see. Needs a short time. Needs a short time. Is it the bad cable or is it the good cable? It's the bad cable, but we tried anyway. <coughs> Last time we had charging problems with this cable. I think. Yeah, I know. Um, wait, I want to 
just just to change something we go to here yeah and that's the lightning on top so we have a lightning issue on top and i show you why so do you see that do you see it's like a banana and do you see the fpc here looks like looks just like shit get your hole in yeah so the problem now is that here you can see it I can't connect the lighting in the right way because it's laying not right in the housing okay so it's just assembled in the wrong way and I need to see yeah the lightning is assembled wrong so Tim the video isn't at the end really people please please stop doing these works at home and up logic boards and up devices it's really for me now it's just work to to get your shit away Tim, what do you think? Mm, I think they paid more money than they should have. Yeah, they paid a lot more of money than they should have paid. Because they they changed the battery, then they realized the device doesn't want to charge, then they changed the lightning, then they changed the screen, the screen is bad quality. They didn't didn't even even copy, they didn't even copy the screen data. Then here is a wrong screw because this screw doesn't need to be here. Normally here we have a Phillips screw. So and then they wonder why their devices doesn't want to work at all. You know what I mean? So for me it's like if you don't know what you do, don't do it. Don't do it. And now we just try to fix the issue with that cable, okay? Because the cable isn't laying right. If the cable isn't laying right, it can't click in correctly. And if it isn't click in correctly, we can't charge that device. So let's see. And now you see, Tim. I just took the cable to the right position and if it's in the right position the device can charge again. So what I think now because of the behavior here it could be that the battery is dead too and that it's like you take a third party battery from eBay or whatever you take a third party lightning, you rip off a MOSFET. People, that doesn't make any sense for me. It doesn't make any sense for me. So we wait. Do we see something on the screen? Device is booting, but you see, this is a dead battery too. I try to push on the connector to, to see it. You know, it's a dead battery. Um, I just go to get an iPhone 8 battery new. I think this video is not bad. I thought it's basic, basic. I, saw, I said to Tim, should we really do that video? And he said, yes, why not? Let us do. And now I think it can be a good video. Why? Because you see how you can destroy a phone if you do them self repairs. So I just try to connect the battery now and we just wait and you see now the phone is booting now the phone is booting we wait until the boot is performed so good battery and we have a boot so 57 percent if we connect this ah okay so we connect it to pc i don't know the code let us do like we connect directly to the charger you know it from the last video we have to to do some changes here in the room tim 
to just get to get this better done and you see here we have a charging phone again the phone is charging fine after the repair but think about the customer mails in the phone and says okay i just disconnect now and uh, just says okay i want to get a repair i want to get replace the battery no problem so the, but no he opens up the screen i think he ripped the flex cables so he has to replace the screen okay he replaces the screen with this shit screen yeah with this shit screen then he replaces the battery with a bad one which is dead then he rips off the mosfet and then he replaces the lightning for what so in the end he has to pay lightning battery two times mother screen uh, then the board repair it's an iphone 8 man it's an iphone 8 and that's how he used the glue straps crazy works again but this is mother shit dr ben i'm out be sure to subscribe the channel have a nice weekend goodbye